Yeah, so I'm doing this Bay Realms of all time thing. Yeah, here we go. Elvis Costello is on, is on the list with this year's model. Um, the first album I actually got by Elvis Costello was Spike, which is just another great album and I, that I love from him. But I was going to go with this year's model though, because um, it's yeah, I still listen to it all the time. But but I think yeah. But also Spike's great album and and uh, and uh, uh, Imperial Bedroom and Trust and Get Happy and Armed Forces and he's got a lot of great albums. But I, uh, you know, but this year's model. You know, I was, just listened to a lot when I woke up, you know, during during high school to put it on, you know. And of course, London Calling by the by the Clash, great album, that album. London Calling from the faraway town, you boys and girls. London Calling, thousand two, baby, and you thousand two. Yeah, I see. Just come. I don't know the words. <laughs> I wouldn't if I think about it. I wouldn't remember the words, but I just I didn't listen to the album for a while. Okay, and of course Paul McCartney. You know I love Paul McCartney, so of course I'm gonna choose. Uh, you think I'll choose like an older one? I was, normally I would. I was like Band of the Run's great, Tug of War's great, you know, London Town's great, and all this. But I'm gonna go with uh, Memory Almost Full. The old one of these new ones. That's from 2007, so it's kind of new. But it's a great album. Memory Almost Full by Paul McCartney. It's, uh, you know, one of his. Yeah, it's got lots of wax on there and dance tonight, but it's got also other great songs on there. So it's like it's, um, vintage clothes, vintage clothes, vintage clothes. <laughs> That's not a good track. I love, I, love, I love the mix on there too. Like, uh, yeah, it's nice, nice production. It's good. Okay, and then of course you know the Beatles' White Album. I'm gonna go with the Beatles. Go with the White Album. But it's just one album because it's a long album and it's a great album. And it's great. So you know all their albums are great. My favorites. And of course next album is Jagged Jag Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. I love Jagged. Jagged Little Pill. I remember when it first came out. I was, you know I heard some of the songs and I'm like okay maybe there are a couple of good, good songs. Let me buy it. See what I bought it and I listened to the whole album and every song is great. I love it. So it's just. Great albums, you know. So I was like, well, they they really do good, but I know. And of course, the Cars first album, the the Cars. Even though I love, you know, all the Cars albums, you know, but the Cars first album is great, you know, because that's it's got moving in stereo. And of course, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway by Genesis. It's probably my favorite Genesis album. No, Genesis made a lot, of, a lot of great albums. I mean, that was probably. You know, that was the last album they, they did with uh, Peter Gabriel and Squid Album. But then they made a lot of good albums with Phil Collins. I mean, if you think about it, it's a lot of, if you listen to like those Phil Collins Genesis albums, amazing production. And they really, you can tell they really did, worked hard to make it good, you know, good stuff. You listen to like, you know, it's good. I'm not gonna knock Phil Phil Collins Genesis stuff. Cause that is, he he did, he did really good. I mean, he's the, he's great. He's, you know, He's made good good music and production. You can tell that he worked hard on that stuff. You know, even if he was able to. So they always got a good and they got a good sound. And I got a name, I got a number, I got a line on you. I got a name. Yeah, you know that it's all right. It's all right. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, then of course, it's um, an album playing here, which I. It's probably, you know, uh, yeah. I'll put some Duran Duran on it because this is actually a pretty, pretty good album that I like. You know, I just listened to a lot when I was a kid. I used to have it on cassette. But Seven and the Ragged Tiger by Duran Duran because I like that song. I like I liked the, the first time I actually thought I liked, all started to like Duran Duran was when I heard The Reflex. I'm like, The Reflex. In. And then, of course, there's another, another great song that I like, 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 you know, You Moon on Monday. And, Union of the snake, and of course, uh, the shadows are on your side as soon as the lights come. I love that. 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 I love
And of course, next is The Who, where to choose one from The Who. It's probably like Who's Next or Sell Out, so those are two of my favorites. But I chose Quadrophenia, because it's really a good album. I love that album. Double album. More songs, you know. And of course, Eagles Hotel California, because I think that's probably their best album. I love that album. A lot of other great songs, that too. Of course, Pink Floyd's Animals is probably my favorite album. If I had to choose one Pink Floyd album, Animals. I love that album. It's so great. It's just so, and it's so less known, so no one's actually like going on and on about it. But it's just a good album. It's just so good. You know, all the stuff. It's a, it's a great album. And of course, Sting. Uh, 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 Dream of the Blue Turtles. I think I would choose that album by Sting. But even though, you know, I love, uh, you know, Nothing Like the Sun and, and Soul Cages and Ten Summer's Tales. But, um,. Yeah, if I was to put like a police album on that, would probably be Synchronicity or... Yeah. Warm breath, warm breath, you will know Synchronicity. Sleep dance, sleep dance, shadow romance, Synchronicity. A connected principle, a linear principle. Yeah. And, you know, of course, yeah. And then uh, what else? Uh, watch it out. And then... I put anybody else in that I forgot to mention. Uh, of course, Juliana Hatfield, I like. I think she's probably one of my favorite like female artists. I don't really have a lot of favorite female female. Uh, my favorite female artist, favorite female. Um, tongue twister. Uh, but I think Juliana Hatfield is like one of my favorite female artists. I think I love. Uh, I mean, the first album I bought from her was "Become What You Are," and then I got "Hey Babe." And, but the first time I remember getting brandy was uh, only everything. I remember walking to the CD store getting it. And I love that album. It's a good album. The album was Beauty can be sad. You're proof of that. When the damage is done, you damage good. It's not to say it's not okay. Hey, I wouldn't have a heart, a heart there. That's why it's. What a lie, do we lie, piety, do we lie? Yes, it's, I love that, it's, it's, really, it's a really good album. It's really, but, um, but I think, what, yeah, that's, so if I was to choose one of them, I'd probably be that album. But, it's good. And, but then, yeah, there's a lot of other albums I like from her. But there's that one song from uh, an album she put out called, I think, Bed, called uh, Bad Day. And so I love that song, I love her voice in that song, it's like really good. Why did I run away? I was having a bad, bad day. It's a good song. I love that song. I was having a bad day. Did I forget anybody? I don't know. That's yeah. Who else? That's just an you know, approximation of the bands I like. You know, I mean, I probably forgot something. You know, somebody. Ah, uh, yeah. But those are my favorite. So my favorite stuff that I like listening to. So if I, you know, listen to them, I go, oh, it's good. You know, it's you know, weird. Like, if something's good, it's always good. It's like it it's always has the ability to like make you enjoy it. Like when you listen to a Beatles song, it's like you've heard it like a million times, but yet it still makes you want to listen to it because it has these little things in it that just makes you want to listen to it. You know, the vocal sounds good. The song is great. The, the message. It's just weird how, how music does that. And, I mean, it's like different with the movie. If you watch like a movie or TV show that you've seen, it's like it's easy to get like tired of you know after watching it over and over. But with this, a great song, it's just you can listen to it over and over and it never gets tired. Interesting how music does that. 